Gough Mock was Lieutenant of Morgul, and he was second in command during the Battle of the Pelennor Fields. In the Peter Jackson adaptation of The Return of the King, we see him portrayed as an orc, but not just any orc, he was an ugly, mutated orc. And he had the ability to evade falling rocks like a boss. But was he really intended to be an orc, or could he be something else? Let me know in the comment section what you think Gothmog really was. So first of all, let's see how he was portrayed in the movies. And there we see him as this ugly mutated orc commander who is controlling the orcs that are coming from Minas Morgul. They attack the rangers in Osgiliath. We see him later during the Battle of the Pelennor Fields riding a walk where we can clearly depict that he is a commanding officer, that he is a commander among the orcs. And then eventually he evades falling rocks from Minas Tirith like a boss. Even this troll would never forget this moment. But at the end of the Battle of the Pelennor Fields, he was killed by both Gimli and Aragorn after he tries to kill Eowyn. But my question is, was he really intended to be an orc? I'm going to read a little bit of his first appearance in The Return of the King. There they had been mustered for the sack of the city and the rape of Gondor. Waiting the call of their captain, he now was destroyed. But Gothmog, the lieutenant of Morgul, had flung them into the fray, Easterlings with axes, and very eggs of count, Southrons and scarlet, and out of far Harad, black men like half trolls, with white eyes and red tongues. Some now hastened up behind the Rohirrim, others held westward to hold of the forces of Gondor and prevent the joining with Rohan. So here we see his first appearance, where he goes and commands the Orcs, Eastlings, the Haradrim to attack both Gondor and the troops of Rohan. But that is literally the only passage that we see him portrayed in the books where we see his name mentioned. Nothing more, nothing less. We don't even know what a race he is, how did he gain his power, and this gives room for a lot of speculation. And that is something that I like about the books of J.R.R. Tolkien, is we have these characters that we don't have much to go on. First of all, Peter Jackson took his own thoughts about it, and in his case, he thought it was an orc. But in my opinion, I don't really think that he is an orc. I personally think that he is something else. And the reason that I think that he is not an orc is because, personally, I think that Sauron would never let an orc among these high ranks of officers. I think that he sees the orcs more like the foot people, the common soldiers who are there in massive numbers to attack the enemy. But they are not strategically wise enough to command the other troops. So who else could he be? Well, there is a possibility when I think about it is a Nazgul, one of the nine, one of the ring raids. But then again, it would be strange because Kamul, the Shadow of the East, is the second in command of the Nazgul. Seeing another Nazgul being the second in command during the battle where he is also there is strange. The only reason I could think that would work is because Gothmog is then more strategically advanced than Kamul, and that is why he was put in second rank. Personally, I don't think that he is a Nazgul. So if he is not an orc and he is not a Nazgul, what else could he be? Well, he could be a bulldog, and I'm not talking about a dog. I'm talking about a Maya. And these Maya were of lesser form than Balrogs. They were also corrupted by Morgoth during the First Age, and they took the form of the primitive orcs. But in my personal opinion, what I think he really is, is a Black Numenorean, just like the mouth of Sauron. You might wonder what is a Black Numenorean, and the Black Numenoreans are descendant from the King's Men from the land of Numenor. During the Second Age, the people of Numenor have put establishments on the coast of Middle-earth, just like Umbar for example, which is a very important one where a lot of the Black Numenoreans are stationed. They survived the downfall of Numenor because they were still on Middle-earth, they were not on the island or on the ships of Arpharazon. They swore an allegiance to Sauron, they worshipped him. The Maud of Sauron became into the high ranks of the Tower of Baradur because he had great power, his great evil, great cunning, and he grew into the ranks of Mordor. And I personally think that Gothmog was just like this. He was also a black Numenorean who grew into ranks through his power, his cunning, and his strategic mastermind. Because he was commander during the battlefield, so he must have a lot of strategic thoughts and think like a great commander. So I personally think that he is a black Numenorean, but I could be completely wrong here. So we don't even know what he really is. I think the only person who knows who he is is talking himself. 
Apart from some Hollywood scenes, I think that Peter Jackson did a great job. I personally don't agree with him about Gothmog being an orc, but I have my reasons for that and I do believe that Peter Jackson has his reasons for him being an orc. So in that case, I can agree with him. If there's room for speculation, we don't know what is right. But there is one thing that I don't agree with with Peter Jackson and that is the mouth of Sauron. Not only how he is created, how he looks, but the whole scene, the conversations, the actions that had taken place it has changed so much from the books to the movies and I don't see the reason why. If you want to know what I mean what I'm talking about then you better click this next video.